So our next step is that we are going to prepare the pieces that wrap around the cone. And one of the pieces, the middle piece, happens to be embossed with one of our new tools. Um, the Quick Cuts 2x12, um, and this one's called Scallops and Dots. Um, we can use it with the cuddle bug, which is great. Um, but this one is a little tricky because you have to roll it through, flip it around, and do the other side because it's a longer one. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. The other thing that we found out with these embossing folders is that um, in order to get a really detailed, heavy emboss, you almost need to have a little shim in there. And we are using a, piece, a very, very thin piece of acrylic. So we have the A spacer, um, two B cutting pads, and then the shim that goes in there as well. So this is how it goes. Here's my A, I'm gonna put a B down. And then here's the paper that I want to emboss, the two by 12, and I just used uh, my Cricut cutting uh, pad over there in order to do a piece of paper that I thought would work. So I'm going to open this up. Um, and then the other thing is that when you do the embossing, you want to make sure that um, there's writing on the back. You want to make sure that that is face down and the blank face is face up. It's kind of like a greeting card when people put Hallmark on the back or uh, you know their brand name on the back. So that's how it works. So we're gonna put that in. And let it go down. And put our spacer in and our B plate. Um, the other thing that we have noticed is that if you use a paper that's very distressed already, the embossing doesn't show up as well. So a lot of times you have you can ink or um, you know put some stickles or another doodad on there in order to make it show up. But it's pretty good if you have this um, spacer in there, the acrylic plate. So we're just going to roll this through, and it is a little bit trying. Um, so thank God I do this and maybe I missed the gym today. I don't need to go work out. So I'm gonna push it through and roll it back. And then I'm going to, because it's longer and we talked about that, I'm going to flip it, flip it over and make sure I get the other side. So put my B on top. And run it through. And then what we have is a embossed piece. So I have embossed uh, the piece that I'm going to wrap around my cone. And then I have an underlying piece that is the same um, paper that we used for the flowers. So that will coordinate nicely. And if you feel like it's too big, um, usually what I do is tape using my um, terrifically tacky tape again. I'm gonna just run a line along. my sheet there and I'm using my Tim Holtz scissors I'm gonna run another line of tape Cut that up. peel the red backing off And then I'm going to line it up on my page wherever I want it. And then I might even trim it after that. Okay. So it's ready to be adhered to the cone. Peel that off. Then I'm going to look and see where I want it. Press that down, and then I will just wrap my band around and trim it and adhere it with tape. Okay. 
and just put a piece of tape on the outside so that whenever I press it down it'll just stick. There we go. And then I just wrap and it sticks. And then if you want, if you had some kind of um, nice design scrapbooking scissors or something like that, you could certainly use those. So our cone is complete uh, and we are ready to make the tag.